Welcome back, boys and girls, uh, to Greasy Games. This is season two, a long-awaited season. We have some bad news uh, also, though, uh, because uh, we lost the footage yet again. Uh, I think it was a Russian hacker or something who stole the files. So uh, the, fi the files are somewhere out there, but uh, yeah, we couldn't track it down. Uh, if you find it on some uh, sketch of your Russian website, then please contact uh, us at uh, greasygaming at hotmail.com uh, Or on Pornhub <laughs> But yes, uh, Greasy Games uh, Season 2, we had a Kickstarter for this one uh, We did reach uh, 20 million dollars, that was our goal, but uh, we decided to just say fuck it and uh, do it anyway with the money we had and I'm pretty happy about how this season turned out, but uh, of course we're not gonna spoil how it ends for you. Yeah, and uh, by the way, this is also in PowerPoint, uh, like last season. We thought it was a good way of uh, doing it. It's very easy to kind of get an overview of all the characters doing it this way. Uh, but uh, speaking of characters, I, I know uh, the viewers out there are most excited uh, to see uh, this year's participants, so sh should we just jump right into it? Yes, so uh, districts 1, 2, 3 uh, here, The first district <laughs> is the winners Here we have uh, Jeffrey Epstein, Leo Dooley and uh, Charlie, Charlie's uh, baby so uh, Guys, guys, uh, I know you're thinking uh, I know you're thinking that this team up was a little strange, but I, I promise you it's randomly generated, so we, we can control uh, uh, which uh, participants got on team uh, with uh, who. Yeah, and, uh, <laughs> I, I have to say this was a little inconvenient, but... Uh... Uh, and uh, let's move on to District 2, uh, Lifestyle Diseases. Here we got uh, the King of Norway, Harold, as he is called. Uh, a fat guy named uh, uh, Joe. And... Uh, Steve Harvey. In District 3, Frozen, we have Anna and Elsa, and uh, Bogdan. <laughs> District 4, Strategic Control Division, here we got uh, Goofy from the Walt Disney Universe, and a Boeing 737 uh, passenger plane. We also got uh, a bug. In District 5, uh, Checkmate, we have uh, a God Mater. Uh, from, from a God Mater's chess channel on YouTube. Uh, and um, Pinkie Pie from My Little Pony. And a Kumstein. <laughs> District uh, 6, a swaggy state of mind. And we have, <laughs> and we have Eminem, uh, Seaman from uh, Daniel Seaman, the, the Norwegian YouTube channel. And we also have a Moby Huge dildo. <laughs> Uh, District 7, Gamer Moments, uh, we have PewDiePie, Green Lantern, and Racism. District 8, The Pioneers, Gandhi, Belle Delphine, and Los Lobero, the guy that invented the ballpoint pen. <laughs> District 9, Where's My Feet Picks, we have uh, Green Day. Th there are actually th three people in one uh, contestant. They auditioned as one competitor, so it, uh, it ended up like this. Then we have Where's Waldo, uh, or Waldo from Where's Waldo, and uh, Pokemon. District 10, no cap handicapped. Here we have uh, Sam and Tim, uh, but uh, we have to mention that uh, uh, only Sam is in the competition. Tim, he is not in the competition, but Sam, he is a uh, participant. And uh, we also have... Uh, Tommy Edison, who's uh, famous on YouTube, and he's also blind. And then we have uh, Thomas Edison, uh, who's deaf. Uh, District 11, The Fast and Furious. We have uh, Vin Diesel, uh, Lightning McQueen from Cars, and Prince, uh, who is also a dog. And uh, on District 12, uh, the top talent uh, district, we have Jacksepticeye. We have an impersonator who is impersonating Jacksepticeye. Uh, the problem is that he's so good at impersonating Jacksepticeye that we don't know uh, who is who. So, yeah, oh, sorry guys. And then we have uh, uh, Lionel Messi, who is a famous football player. Alright, that was uh, all the teams, guys. I hope you're excited for this season. 
Yeah. And it should be just to remind them of the rules. Yeah. All right, so the greasy games are like uh, the hunger games that we have these districts that are teaming against each other and it is a match to the death and uh, the the last district standing wins a million dollars that's right guys a million dollars this year's um, theme is uh, desert last time it was uh, forest uh, and yeah we're uh, shooting in the sahara desert in egypt and here you can see our uh, participants uh, starting up next to this pyramid and the, the cornucopia is kind of on top here you can see these four chests also you can see in the middle there is uh, a ruby you might wonder why that's there actually it, it can be picked up and uh, it can be used in the eyes of uh, this uh, statue right here but you need two rubies so where's the second uh, one, you might ask? Well, the second one is hidden right here in this basket. So the first one to find the, the two rubies and place it right here gets to go into the treasure room. Uh, but Nick Mac, uh, where the heck did uh, where's Waldo go? Is supposed to be here? Uh, yeah, actually what happened was that we couldn't find him. Uh, he wasn't there, <laughs> so maybe he'll show up la later, uh, I don't know. Yeah, uh, if, if you spot the Waldo during one of these videos, please comment down below where we found him. So should we start uh, this year's Greasy Games? Yeah, I'm, I'm ready, Nick Mac. Alright. 3, 1, GO! Okay, the first thing that happened was that uh, Jeff Epstein moved a little closer to uh, Leo Dooley. Then uh, in the corner here, you can you can see Bogdan running up along the corner to find uh, something in the cor cornucopia, and PewDiePie did the same, and Vin Diesel. Uh, Leo Dooley wasn't sure why Jeffrey Epstein was moving moving towards him because they had planned beforehand to uh, to run for the middle, but. Uh, uh, <laughs> Leo ran to the baby because the baby couldn't walk and Jeff Epstein followed. Uh, we have the lifestyle diseases uh, team and they didn't have the energy to go off the whole pyramid. So beforehand they uh, was they agreed to uh, just leave the middle. So they're running or they're walking. They're not uh, they're not running. They're not running. Uh, Goofy on the strategic control uh, division team ran towards the the bug to pick him up. Then he ran towards the plane and went into the plane. So now now Goofy and the bug is inside the plane and uh, I guess uh, they will try to uh, fly it. Yeah, but the thing is that uh, neither the Goofy uh, nor the bug knows how to fly a passenger plane. So it will be exciting to see if they can manage it. These three guys did the same as uh, this district. They decided to not uh, go on top of the pyramid, <laughs> as it would be a, a difficult challenge for them. Yeah, I mean, uh, Nick Mac, I have to say that some of these teams are uh, more challenged than others, uh, physically speaking. Yes. <laughs> uh, also, uh, Lightning McQueen, of course, couldn't uh, drive up the the staircase of uh, the pyramids so uh, it uh, drove its way in uh, 100 miles per hour uh, another uh, person that couldn't uh, uh, drive on top of the pyramid is uh, Simon from uh, Daniel Simon so he decided to just uh, roll his way and uh, it was up to Eminem to carry the, the, the big dildo away and by the way, the woman on the picture is not uh, a participant, it's it's just a dildo, guys. The Pioneers team decided to risk uh, Laszlo's life, as uh, they thought he was the most boring of the team. And no one has heard of him, so uh, he went to the middle. The Where's My Feet Picks team was missing a participant, uh, Where's Waldo, but uh, that didn't matter because uh, Green Day is three people, so they decided to go into the middle because uh, they were a big crowd together. Uh, a god matter just b decided to be a little strategic, uh, so he picked up the crumb stain and uh, climbed on top of uh, Pinkie Pie, and now they're 
riding their way. And guys, uh, try to imagine that this is actually happening in the moment because this actually happened in real time. Uh, the the top talents team had spoken beforehand and uh, they all agreed that Lionel Messi was the fastest one on the team. So they made the Lionel Messi uh, run with his fast legs to <laughs> towards the middle there. By the way, the dogs, the dog, of course, uh, don't know the rules of this game because how we <laughs> are how are we supposed to explain the rules to a dog? So they just kind of wandered randomly. The dog saw two uh, similar looking guys. Uh, as uh, Jacksepticeye is uh, good with dogs, the dog uh, immediately liked him. Or uh, I don't know if it's Jacksepticeye or the imitator, but he, it's this guy, at least the dog uh, bonded. <laughs> uh, but then suddenly a racism was uh, cancelled on Twitter and he died. <laughs> That, that's the first death of season two of Greasy Games, racism. Rest, Last place. rest in peace, racism. We will forever remember you. So, it takes the first tombstone right there. And there are 35 competitors left. Gandhi and Belle Delphine decided to hit the road. Uh, Laszlo went to this chest right here and he was looting the chest, but what he didn't notice was that Green Day was sneaking up behind him. Billy Joe Ar Armstrong hit uh, Laszlo in his head and Laszlo fell over and since he's pretty old, he died from the impact. The second guy to die was Laszlo. You could have uh, guessed PewDiePie. He saw that this side of the pyramid was empty, so he went over here and started to loot uh, uh, this chest right there. And what did he found? He found an iron sword. Uh, so that's, uh, I would say, a pretty good uh, weapon. What do you think? <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, uh, Lionel Messi tried to kind of hide behind behind the staircase uh, while Vin Diesel was uh, looting. Uh, in the chest, uh, Vin Diesel found the nunchucks, uh, a pair of nunchucks, and he saw that uh, Lionel Messi's fucking hair peaked out, peaked up, <laughs> uh, and he decided to go for him. So he went down here and threw the fucking nunchuck at uh, Lionel Messi's uh, scrotum. <laughs> the nunchuck hit Lionel Messi right in his uh, juice box and he <laughs> fell down the pyramid and rolled down. And uh, he stopped right in front of uh, Jeffrey Epstein's feet. Jeffrey was uh, almost where uh, Leo Dooley and the baby was, but Leo Dooley had picked up the baby. And uh, was now uh, running from Jeffrey Epstein because he was scared. <laughs> L Lionel Messi died. When uh, Epstein saw uh, Lionel Messi's uh, body, he saw he also saw the nunchuck that was planted in uh, his ballsack. So he picked that up. Uh, there was a lot of semen on the nunchuck. Uh, rip Lionel Messi. Uh, Bogdan suddenly had a heart attack. And he fell over and rolled down the pyramid and died. Rip my man Bogdan. I was rooting for you. PewDiePie saw that Bogdan died and he saw an opportunity to get another free chest, so he went over. He uh, looted the chest and got some uh, food and water, which is uh, very important in this season of uh, Greasy Games. Uh, because there's not a lot of food around. Especially water, because it's very hot. Uh, so uh, people get uh, thirsty very quickly. Windis went to the middle and picked up uh, the ruby and then uh, ran down. Uh, Green Day saw in their chest uh, three helmets, iron helmets by the way. And Pokemon went to this chest that Vin Diesel looted just to double check. And she actually found a bow and arrow. And a vodka. So, uh, Pokemon saw th so many people down here. Uh, they were standing uh, very closely to each other, so she thought her chances of hitting uh, someone would be very high. And and there was a lot of fat, so the chances were even bigger. Yes. Uh, so she shot an arrow, and not uh, very surprisingly, she hit uh, Joe right in his big stomach, and uh, he died. 
Uh, Vin Diesel was a little bit shocked since uh, the dog is actually on Vin Diesel's team. Uh, while all this was happening, Goofy had found a manual to how to drive a plane. Uh, now that PewDiePie had looted, he decided to not risk his life even more. And uh, Green Lantern was uh, waiting on him, so he was running down the pyramid. Green Day and Pokemon did the same. So now people are starting to spread a little around the, the map. Here we can see a no-cap uh, handicap. Uh, they have wandered around and uh, they're just lost in the desert. Sam right here, he uh, was having a hard time uh, <laughs> staying alive because he was uh, thirsty. And uh, he had uh, worse uh, health than uh, Tim. The team was the healthy of the two. Uh, Sam had some health conditions uh, and being around in the sun for this long wasn't uh, healthy and Sam passed away. <laughs> Sam uh, also had uh, diabetes. Tim is still alive, he's uh, just dragging around his dead uh, Siamese brother. But uh, what's unfortunate is that Tim is not a participant in the Greasy Games. So we actually have to place uh, this picture in the graveyard because uh, he's out of the combination. So just remember guys, uh, uh, Tim is the one that is still alive and Sam is just hanging there like a tumor. Tommy Edison uh, heard in the distance that uh, Lightning McQueen was just driving around in the desert and uh, he yelled get down and uh, Tim got, got down because yeah, he's already down. Thomas Edison didn't go down because uh, he is deaf and couldn't hear uh, uh, Tommy's commands. Uh, Tommy didn't see this of course because he is blind. So uh, while uh, T Tim and uh, Tommy was laying down, Thomas Edison was still just walking around. Uh, luckily Lightning McQueen was too busy driving around uh, looking cool to see Thomas Edison. Here, Jack Sepitka A and B and the dog had wandered uh, a long time. You can see the sun is uh, setting and they were tired. So they, des they decided to set up camp right there. And the dog was starting uh, to uh, love uh, this guy. <laughs> I don't know who he is. Here in this little village, uh, Anna and Elsa and uh, PewDiePie and Green Lantern met. By the way, we just have to say that uh, no, Green Lantern doesn't have uh, his amazing superpowers. He's basically just a man with a green suit. Yeah, if he uses his powers, he's uh, disqualified from the Greasy Games. Yes. But uh, yeah, that that goes for uh, uh, Anna as well. No, I mean Elsa. Fuck. Yes. I don't know. The two sisters uh, saw that danger was uh, running towards them and uh, uh, they decided to hit the road, but uh, PewDiePie is uh, fast as uh, fuck. <laughs> so he fucking threw his sword at uh, Elsa. Anna. Anna. <laughs> and uh, the sword hit uh, Anna in her uh, stomach and she, she fell over. And then uh, her sister yelled, uh, Elsa! No. <laughs> Uh, Anna, no, and then uh, Anna said, uh, "Elsa, you have to, you have to leave me. I'm dying." And then uh, Elsa said, uh, "You're my sister. I can't leave you here." But uh, it was true. He, she was dying, and then PewDiePie and Green Lantern ran over, and Green Lantern jumped on uh, uh, Elsa and killed her. So um, yes, Anna was the first one uh, to go of uh, the two. Uh, no, that that's Elsa. No, who's Anna? This is Anna, and okay. she died first. Then Elsa went. <laughs> Rip uh, Anna. The king of Norway and Steve Harvey was uh, seeking shelter under uh, the swings because they had just walked all the way from the pyramid and was feeling pretty tired. But then uh, the king of Norway saw something behind the feet of the Sphinx, and he, he found an entrance, and he said, Hva faen? And then Steve Harvey said, check it out, man. And then they went inside under the Sphinx. Uh, they found this uh, dark tunnel, and um, Steve Harvey found a light switch and, turn, uh, and turned it on. And suddenly a long chain of lights turned on, and he said, Zoo, we nigga. 
And uh, they, they went further inside the, the tunnel. After they have been walking for about five minutes, they found the, a staircase that went into a little chamber right there. They went down and uh, the king of Norway found a knife, a hair and, and some food and water. Uh, what they did not see was uh, the ruby that was lying in this basket right over here. And this also marks the end of the, uh, today's episode. It's already been uh, uh, quite uh, exciting, if you ask me. Yeah, I I'm uh, also excited to see how this will turn out in the end. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you're excited as well. Type down in the comments uh, who you're rooting for in the season two of uh, the Greasy Games. Da du blev født, begynte en ny epoke. Top of the middle of my name is Jack, and welcome to awesomeness. Lol. Yay. Awesomeness. Sinness.